Before we start, at the very end we'll need to slay a boss. If you're a regular account, you can save some time by simply buying the Ogre Bow in the GE or the Range Guild, along with some brutal arrows, preferably the best arrows you could use. For the Iron Man out there, you'll need to create your own arrows and or bow, but we'll get to that later when we need it. For now, let's start the quest. You will still however need a weapon for other parts of the quest, so make sure to have a secondary weapon with you. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Grish to start the quest. Chat options on screen. Speak to the Ogre Guard, just east. He will allow you to climb over the barricade, do so. Then keep running east and climb down the stairs. Head to the most northwest area of the map. You will find a skeleton on the floor. Go ahead and search it. A zombie will appear. Simply slay it. Search the backpack to receive some items. Search a broken leg turn right beside you. Go ahead and read the torn page and attempt to open the ogre coffin. I suggest standing right here as the animation for opening it might be cancelled by getting attacked by another zombie. This might take a few attempts. Eventually you will receive a black prism. Moving forward, let's head to the Dragon Inn pub in Yanil. Use the Dragon Mug on the bartender. Next we'll need to speak to a wizard called Savik Rarv. If you like the magic level, simply ring the bell outside, then speak to him. Use the first chat option. Once your conversation with the wizard has ended, head north into the building. Climb up the ladder. And speak to an NPC called Sithic. Do the third chat option. and search the drawers, the wardrobe, and the cupboard. Mm -hmm. 
read the three books, make sure to read all the pages. Then use your papyrus on Seventh to draw his portrait. Once you've sketched him, go ahead and use it on him and make sure the chat log says that he appreciates your honesty. If it doesn't say that, you'll need to try again. You can drop the papyrus, search for more in the drawer and try again. Once you have your good sketch, go ahead and use that portrait on the bartender. Speak to the wizard in the magic guild once again. And choose the third chat option. With the strange potion in your inventory, head back to Sithic, who you drew the portrait for. On top of his drawer, you might have noticed some tea. Go ahead and use your strange potion on that tea. Exit the area, simply climb down the ladder, then head back up. and speak to Sithic. Chat options on screen. Once that conversation is over, head back to Grish where you started the quest. Choose the first chat option and he will give you a key. Speak to him once again. Choose the second chat option. And you will now be able to create the ogre combo and the brutal arrows which you will need for the upcoming fight first let's go ahead and gather the bow if you have access to the range guild which requires 40 range you can quickly purchase one in the store if not then simply have a achy log wolf bone and a bowstring in your inventory cut the log into the bow then simply use the bowstring not too different from your conventional fletching. Next to the arrows, simply make some headless arrows using the achy log for the flighted ogre arrows. For the heads you will need to add nails. Make the best you can. Here is a breakdown of the smithing level and fletching level needed to create the specific arrows that you want. If you don't have the smithing level or just want to do this quickly, you can purchase bronze, iron and steel nails in the sawmill east of Varrock. They're not the best nails, but they're better than nothing. Now that you have your ogre bows and arrows, Run past the guards and enter the underground area once again. Mm -hmm. 
on directly west and go through the two large stone ogre doors. Head downstairs. Keep heading along the path and you will find this small stand at the end. When you search it, the fight with the boss will start. You can go ahead and save spot him as shown here on screen. It might take a little while to slay him, but he is easy. Once he's slain, go ahead and make sure to pick up the ogre artifact. And lastly, head back to where you started the quest and speak to Grish. Choose the first chat option. And quest complete. 